Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I mean, I'm not gonna waste any of your time. I've created this kind of feline look with Huda Beauty's new Naughty Nude palette. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and enjoy. Guys, can we take a minute to appreciate Huda Beauty's new Naughty Nude palette guys just have a look at this i cannot even deal with this this looks so like unique and different and then we have these kind of shadows i don't know about you but i've not seen anything like this kind of stuff before and she really hasn't held back on the names either please me hard slippery rough Jeez, arouse, whoa, okay girl, you know what, own it Huda. And I really, really liked the video that she did explaining how she's got to this point. I'll actually link it down below because it was really interesting and it was speaking on cultural views that hold you back sexually or even, you know, talking about feeling sexy and things like that. And these are things that really just resonate with me. These are things that we talk about on the podcast, if you didn't know. What would the auntie say? Yep, yep, I'll leave a link down below as well. Shameless plugging, I just have to. Um, if I don't do it, who will? Back to Huda's palette. I just, yeah, I really love the story and the reasoning behind this palette. I can't wait to get it on. First off though, I need to put this gown on that she sent in the PR package because I just need to get into the, the mood of it. Okay guys, my huge gown on. I look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's let's get this palette on. It's about time. So, do you know what? I'm gonna start by taking rough. Oh my god, also, she has new brushes which I'm literally obsessed with. So I'm gonna take this naughty sweeper and just go in with rough just in the crease. Ooh. And I mainly want to focus it just on the outer corner of the crease. And then, guys, I just have to swatch these, like, these kind of shadows just to show you. Oh, wow. Oh, I was not expecting that. Let me swatch this other swirly whirly one. Oh, okay. And then this one is like a matte. This is like a cocoa chocolate. Oh, I like that's what we're working with. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this marble type shade just on my ring finger. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna just pop it all over the lid. Do you know what guys? Actually, I'm gonna use this naughty shader and I'm gonna take it on the brush. And I'm gonna leave this like first in a third, just bare. But this shade works really, really nicely with your fingers and a brush. Because sometimes, you know met metallic shades like this, you put them on with your finger and you're like, oh my God, the pigment's amazing. And then you use it with a brush and it's just not the same. But this is really nice with a brush as well. And then I'm gonna go into Tantric, which is this shade right here. Oh, this is a bit more like a foiled shade. <gasps> wow. Guys, I'm going to take it on one of the brushes because I just, I can't even believe. Oh my God. It's like so pigmented. I think the foiled shade works much better with your finger, but it's actually not bad with this eye naughty contour it's like this i've never seen a brush like this it's literally just got hard edges at each edge and then it comes to a tapered point which i really like let me try this tantric shade just with the brush oh yes okay i mean yes you just need a solid brush because this is going on just as well and then i'm gonna go into untamed which is right here and i'm basically going to draw out the corner so i'm going to follow it from my crease which i'm going to extend out and join it up and just with a really small brush i'm going to go back in with rough and a bit of juicy and just blend right over you don't want to lose that kind of harsh line and just take your concealer brush to sharpen this out like so that looks good and you can take a bit of untamed just in the corner 
Doesn't this look like nice and naughty? I'm just gonna do the same again on this eye. This looks like it's really hard to do, but I promise you it's actually really easy. Okay, so I'm quickly just going to apply some eyeliner and I'm just gonna take this all the way across. Oh, I've created like a double wing. You basically just wanna use this like line that you've created as your guide for the wing. <sighs> I can't breathe. So I'm just gonna apply some of my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara because obviously it is a must. So just while my lash glue is getting tacky, I'm gonna go in with Untamed again, just on the outer corner of my eye. Right guys, so lashes are on and I've quickly just popped on some corner lashes, which I'm just loving at the moment. I'm actually gonna go into this gorgeous flower power shade right here. I'm just gonna take this on my inner corners to brighten up and just finish it off. Such a lovely shade. I'm absolutely obsessed with the shades in this palette. So then I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty flat lip pencil just to finish it Sorry, my phone just keeps going off today. Huda Beauty Flirt Lip Pencil. And then I'm gonna take the shade Prom Night in her lipstick because it's just so beautiful. Guys, I forgot, I need to try this. I need to try this shade, right. Oh, it's called Slippery because it's like a gloss. Oh, okay. Guessing it adds shine. It's like a pearly gloss for the eyes. But I, I don't know, I'm not sure about that. It's given it a, a shine and a gloss, but I think it takes away that pigment. It basically makes the shadow like smooth, but that's very interesting, very interesting. I'll just finish it off with this Dior gloss. So this is my finished look using Huda Beauty's new Naughty Nude palette. All in all, my verdict is that I freaking love it. And, I think it's definitely one of her best big palettes yet. It's so wearable. I think Rose Gold Palette and this palette and Desert Dusk are my favorite big palettes of hers. The shades and the tones in this are just so wearable. I feel like don't be afraid of these kind of swirly whirly marble tones because when you actually get them on, or you swirl them around, the shades are beautiful. Sometimes I think these kinds of things can be intimidating in a palette and you're like, oh my God, what do I do with that? But it's just a normal shadow and it's just, it's still beautiful. I love how they blend out. I really love the intensity of the pigments in all of the shadows that I've used today. And I'm really, just really, really, really impressed with this, super wearable. I hope you like the look that I came up with today. I feel like it's a little bit different for me with the, mm, I'm gonna try and do a few more looks like this with a few different colors. Let me know what you think of this palette and my look, if you're gonna be purchasing it, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, because it does really, really help me out. Don't forget to subscribe, get me on the gram, listen to my podcast, what would the auntie say? And <laughs> I'm a, I feel like that's like one more thing to tell you, but yeah, I'd really love it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.